Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a chicken pot pie using your Ninja Speedy. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen. So glad you're here. Guys, this is one I've been wanting to do for a while for a video, but I haven't. So you're lucky, today's the lucky day. We are gonna do a chicken pot pie in our Ninja Speedy. This is not one of those 15 minute meal type things, right, that the Speedy's kind of known for. We're gonna be putting this together using the sear saute and then the air crisp mode, okay? Now, how are we gonna make the chicken pot pie? Well. We got all the normal fixings for a chicken pot pie. We got some chicken breast that's already been cooked and cut up. We're gonna use some bacon in there because bacon makes everything better. Got our frozen veggies, got our uh, milk, butter, flour, all the normal stuff. But the difference is we're gonna make our pot pie crust using these canned biscuits, okay? There's eight of them in here and we're just gonna use it. Uh, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna cover up the top of the pie mixture, if you will. We're gonna cover up with these grands, these big old canned biscuits. Air fry it for about 12 to 13 minutes, or air crisp it, all right? And then we'll have our meal. So we'll dot the top and we're ready to go. Nothing too crazy on this one, guys. So nothing left to do, but let's get to it. All right, come on down to my Ninja Speedy Station. And let's get started. Guys, we're on the speedy station here. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We are not using the rapid cooker function up on top right here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this little lever down so it highlights this right side here. We're gonna use the air fried mode and then we're gonna use the sear saute mode. Starting with the sear saute. So let's drop it down right here. We use it on high and hit start. Okay, we'll let it warm up. Why are we doing that? We're gonna cook up this bacon. And then we're gonna add a little bit of butter. So by cooking the bacon in there, uh, we obviously get the bacon flavor, right? And then we're gonna get the grease or fat from the bacon. Then we'll add our flour to that, right? And then we'll start creating that roux that's gonna thicken up our pie filling. Filling? I'm sure there's a culinary term, but I'm lost on it right now. We'll pour our milk in there and it will thicken up with that, that roux we're making, right? Gonna throw a little butter in there because obviously that just enhances the flavor a little bit. We'll add our seasonings. I'm gonna use a little Uncle Steve shake, competition bird powder. So you can check that out. Little poultry seasoning on the side too. We're gonna we're gonna impart a lot of flavor in this this chicken pot pie because you need to, right? No one likes a bland, non-seasoned chicken pot pie, right? So let's get this bacon cooking and then we'll get our pie mix going. We got our sear saute mode going on. It's heating up in there, we're looking good. Let's get this bacon cooking. Once the bacon is more or less cooked through, it's about six ounces of bacon. Once this, about a third of the package. Once the bacon gets done cooking through, we're gonna add a little bit of butter in there. And then we'll add our flour, start mixing up that roux. The bacon is nice and crispy. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of butter in. So between the butter and then the fat from the bacon, we've got about two or three tablespoons with the grease in there, fat. So I got about that much in flour. We're gonna add that. Once the butter melts and gets mixed in there, we're gonna add the flour in. We're gonna cook that through for about a minute or so, get that raw flour taste out of there. And then we'll throw our milk in and start thickening it up. It's done melting. Let's start adding in our flour. We're gonna use our little handy dandy whisk here. Okay. Add the rest. Get that flour whisk in. Get it cooked through for about a minute. Got this nice roux going right now. Nice and pasty. I'm gonna let it cook for just about a minute. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. And we got two cups of whole milk we're gonna throw in there. Let's go ahead and start adding in our milk and give it a whisk. And I have two cups of milk right here, but we may add a little bit more if needed. But we're gonna start with the two cups of milk. And you'll start seeing this milk thicken up. And if it gets too thick on you, Add a little bit more milk, not a big deal. 
And you can see it's thickening it up real nice. About time to add the other stuff to it. Add the frozen veggies in there. All of them, come on. Get that chicken in and then give it a good mix. And that's looking great right there, boys and girls. In fact, I might add a little bit more milk to it because it's a little thicker than I want. So when I put the instructions down below, yeah, we're gonna add another cup of milk in there. Hold tight. Let's get that other cup in there and we'll have it right at the consistency we want. It'll thicken up when we're uh, air frying those biscuits too. But yeah, that's a little bit better. So add some seasonings in there. We're gonna do a little Uncle Steve shake, a little competition bird powder. Okay, about a tablespoon or so, or maybe more, whatever. Go with your gut. Got a little extra poultry seasoning in here that we're gonna throw in. Just has some herbs and spices in there. Not quite 11, but close. And then give it a mix. It's coming together real nice. Now, if you don't have like the barbecue rub or whatever that I have, the shake here, you can use salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe some onion powder. Just to make it your own. But this shake right here has all the seasonings you need, the pepper, the salt, a bunch of other good flavors in there. And the chicken has some seasoning on it too, which will come off in the mix. I'm gonna give this another minute or so, keep thickening it up, and we'll get those biscuits in. So we're letting this thicken up a little bit. Time to get a busted can of biscuits open here, right? And like I said, we're just gonna kinda layer them on top. We'll shut it down, we'll air fry it for about 10, 13 minutes in there. Guys, the ingredients and prep will be all down below. Okay, like I had to make a little adjustment with a little extra milk, it was getting a little too thick on me. It's not a problem, okay? We got plenty of stuff going on right here. It's gonna be good eating. If y'all are finding this uh, helpful, beneficial, somewhat entertaining, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, that bell next to it, so you alerts on all what we're doing here. And of course, since you're doing all that YouTube junk, hit that thumbs up for me too. Someone told me it helps in the algorithm, gets this out to more eyes in the world, right? Okay, let's add them biscuits on right now. This is, it smells so good in here right now. This is, this is good stuff, guys. All right, y'all. Our pie filling over there is looking good. God, I hate that part. <laughs> All right, so we got our biscuits here. Let's go ahead and get them layered over on the... <laughs> Shit, that scared the hell out of me. Let's get, let's get them layered up on that pie filling. I'm done uh, having a heart attack. So let's go ahead and get these little biscuits in here. And it's okay if some gets kind of on the top there. This is gonna be kind of haphazardly, if you will. All right, so we're leaving one biscuit out. This looks a little too crowded in there. We're gonna move this to the air fry mode. We're gonna take the temp down to 300. I'm gonna go 12 minutes and then we'll check it. All right, so let's shut this lid, hit start. All right, we're about seven minutes in. Let's take a look at these bad boys. Brown it up real nice. Just need a little bit more time. I think the 12 minutes will be just fine. They're all done. Let's open this up. Take a good look. Look at that nice golden brown biscuits or pie topper, if you will, for our chicken pot pie. Looking good. Let's go ahead and serve some up. What do you say? Go ahead and put mine in a bowl here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Put that in there. Get a little of the pie mix in. Oh, that's looking good. All right, let's get it served up and finished up. And we'll eat it up. Let me get you a little, I don't know if I can get much more close up than that without spilling it, but that's looking money. Top that biscuit's nice and uh, done. That inside is done as well in the biscuit. As you can see, it's looking good. Plenty of flavor going on in there. I got me a big old bite. It's hot as hell, get out. I'm gonna burn my mouth, but like I used to say, I do it because I love you. Here you go, get on it. Look at the steam coming off that bad boy right there. All right, cheers y'all. <laughs> I mean, what is there to say? That is damn good, all right? Didn't have to mess with no pie crust. Just just scared the hell out of me opening that can, that container, that, that uh, busted can of biscuits, <laughs> but that's all right. Guys, that was amazing. Oh, just try it. Just, I know I have a metric crap ton of freaking videos on my channel, but this right here, this is the bomb, 
okay? And this recipe will work in the Ninja Foodi, whether it's the one lid or the old school two lid one, because all you're using is the sear saute and you're using the air crisp mode or the air fryer mode. So this will work more than just the speedy. All right, now this recipe is geared toward the speedy, but you can use your Ninja Foodi in it and that's exciting. All right, because not everybody has a speedy, but there's a damn sure a lot of people out there with that Ninja Foodi, right? But if y'all wanna get yourself one of these speedies, I'll have a link down below to Ninja Kitchen. You check it out. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything more to use it, but it helps out your boy, helps out the channel. If you guys wanna use anything I use in my videos, like knives, cutting boards, merch, camera equipment, lighting, all that good stuff. The only thing I'm not selling down there is a actual producer because that's me. Producer, director, editor, writer, all that good stuff. Head chef, sous chef, line cook. I do it all, baby. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to become a show producer like all these amazing, awesomely cool people scrolling across the screen right now, real, real lovers of that pop, when you open a can of biscuits, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.